finally, the very last adventure that we need to complete is called Jace and Me. All this adventure is about is outputting JSON objects back. Well, you can use send, but there is a better method from the Express.js framework. It's called JSON. It's a method on the response object. The syntax is response.json, and then we pass the callback. And then uh, we would be giving uh, the input in argv2 and argv3. The file will need to read that file. The path to the file will be provided to us. So no need to create the file. In fact, there might be different files just to trick you uh, to not hard code it. Okay, so let's go to the editor. I'm in my favorite editor, it's called Adam, and I'm opening a new file or creating a new file, a-json.js. And as, as typical, we would start the file by importing all the necessary dependencies. So we obviously need Express.js and we need to instantiate that app. And then we're using something called FS. It's a core module, no need to install anything. FS stands for the file system. And then our route slash books, it's a get route. Inside of that route, we have, we basically need to read the file. So first we let's get the file name for us process.argv3, and then we use fs.read file. That's asynchronous method. So this method would actually show you how to write synchronous code with Express.js. So inside of the, that asynchronous callback, every time process the error. That's very important to process the error. And then if we have an error, we need to send the status 500. Then I'm using json.parse, so obviously I need to try catch because json.parse, it crashes uh, applications if it doesn't like um, even like a single character. It's very picky. And then at the end on line 14, I'm outputting the JSON back. And of course, I'm ending everything by booting up the server to listen on the port. The port number will be provided in process.argv2. So this is very similar to like reading from a database. You would also have an asynchronous method, and then you would output your response inside of that callback. Why? Because if we do it here, here the books would be empty because the books line 16 happens before line 14. So we need to wait until uh, the, the callback, the file is ready or the database is ready with the data. In this case, the books is not null. We parsed it and only then output the response. Okay, so let's save it. Let's go to the terminal. Let's start our server. Or oh, before starting, I didn't provide the file name. So for this reason, we will use Expressworks because it will provide the file name for you. And it will tell you if everything is correct. And this is correct. Now hit the enter. Okay. Hooray, we finished all the challenges. Ta-da! But let me show you how to read a file in case you're wondering. So again, I'm using this double pipe or I can just delete that. But with the double pipe, the code is uh, smart enough to work for both the work, uh, the express tool and for the manual entry. And then I want to use this file test.txt, which we already created. So what I will do, I will um, point to public test.txt. Of course, this is not the best way. The better way would be to use path and underscore underscore dear name, but it should work for now. Okay, so uh, all I want to do is just try it really, really fast and show it to you. One important thing I need to modify here in uh, test.txt, it must be a valid JSON. Otherwise, our parser will just work. 
So this one should make it a valid JSON. Then we parse it and then we should get the books. Okay, so now let's go to the terminal and restart it. Go to the browser. Okay, now we get the object. So that sums up our workshop. We have everything completed and uh, if you need a book or if you want more materials or if you spotted an error you can uh, go to this url and submit a pull request if you want to improve or translate it or there are also take a look at other amazing uh, workshops at node school they also have free events in your cities and uh, that's it thank you